Terminator technology to fight COVID-19? This is the InsideEdition.com coronavirus news for May 5th, 2020. A company in China has developed heat-detecting glasses. The shades can see people's temperatures up to 10 feet away, and they could be used to help screen for cases of COVID-19. An infrared thermometer detects temperatures with a camera, then sends that data to the glasses. Rokid usually makes video games and so-called augmented reality devices, but they created these real-world glasses as the coronavirus began to spread. They've already sold about a thousand pairs, though it does raise some privacy concerns. Now they're working on a version that can detect temperatures across large groups of people. The technology is drawing comparisons to the Terminator movies. Arnold Schwarzenegger's killer cyborg character saw the world through thermal vision. And thermal vision also shows up in another Arnold vehicle, Predator. In this scene, the Predator hunts humans in the jungle. Look familiar? And aside, actual Arnold has been social distancing at home with his miniature donkeys. You. Happy birthday, dear Lulu. And the governor has been encouraging others to do the same. We stay home. Very risky, huh? <laughs> Oh, by the way, those real-life temperature sensing glasses, they're called T1s. That was the name of the first robots in the Terminator franchise. Fingers crossed, though, humanity doesn't end up the same way it did in the movies. But reality check, actual robots aren't evil. Check out these little guys from the U.S. company Starship Technologies. They're being used to deliver food and supplies to healthcare workers in the UK, said a Starship executive. The community have responded amazingly to these robots. We have had an outpouring of support from residents. And in California, public health officials are using artificial intelligence, or AI, to track the spread of COVID-19. Governor Gavin Newsom recently spoke about it with 60 Minutes. We are literally seeing into the future and predicting in real time based on constant update of information uh, where patterns are starting to occur before they become headlines. There are more than 3.6 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide and more than 250,000 deaths. Now Inside Edition's Maya Chung has a follow-up to a recent story. I am Maya Chung and I am working on a follow-up story about the Briggs family who have 38 children, 32 of whom are adopted. I visited the Briggs family last year in their West Virginia home and found out how they manage life with so many children. With the coronavirus pandemic keeping everyone quarantined inside, I wanted to check in with the Briggs and see how they're doing. They said it hasn't been easy. This is how we do it during the coronavirus. It was a tough experience for our family out of 21 kids and Paul and myself, 12 of us have had it. With all of the kids and ourselves who have had this, only Jean has had to be hospitalized. So we've kind of been able to work through the symptoms and, and deal with, with the issues uh, w without having any real tragic ki kind of medical conditions to, to be concerned about. For more on the coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.